Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to prepare trading account. Here I have taken 5 problems from TS Gravel textbook. Let's solve them together. We all know that we prepare trading account to ascertain gross profit or gross loss of a firm or organization. Preparing trading account is the first step in a final account. I have made a separate introduction video in which trading account format and bifurcation of direct and indirect expenses are provided in the form of a chart. If you are not aware of the format, you can watch it. I will leave the link in the description below. Let us solve the problems now. Our first problem is prepare trading account from the transactions given below. Opening stock 23,000, purchases 29,000, sales return 500, sales 25,400, purchase return 2,400, closing stock 47,700, carriage inverts 100, depreciation 2,000. First, let's find out which item should be debited and which item should be credited. Our first account is opening stock. In trading account, we put opening stock on the debit side as per the pro forma or format. Next account is purchases. Purchases is mentioned on the debit side. Next one is sales returns. We mention it on the credit side and also we have sales. Sales is also mentioned on the credit side. To get the net sales amount, we need to deduct sales returns amount from sales. We will see it when we prepare the trading account. Next we have purchase returns and it is mentioned on the debit side. To get net purchases, we will deduct the purchase returns from purchases. Next we have closing stock. This is mentioned on the credit side. Next is carriage inverts. Carriage inverts is a direct expense and it is mentioned on the debit side. Next we have depreciation. Depreciation is an indirect expense. We should not consider this for trading account. This will go to profit and loss account. Now we will prepare the trading account. Opening stock, purchases, purchase returns and carriage inverts are mentioned on the debit side. Here we are deducting purchase returns from purchase amount to get the net purchase value. Net purchase value is 26,600. Sales and sales returns and closing stock are mentioned on the credit side. Here also we are deducting sales returns amount from sales amount to get the net sales value. Net sales value is 24,900. Now we will balance the amounts on both sides. We have 72,600 on the credit side which is the higher amount. So we mentioned 72,600 on both the sides. Now we will deduct the lesser amount that is on the debit side from the higher amount that is on the credit side. 72,600 minus 49,700 which comes to 22,900. This amount is gross profit because the purpose of preparing the trading account is to know the gross profit or gross loss. The formula for gross profit or gross loss is net sales minus cost of goods sold. What is cost of goods sold? Cost of goods sold is equal to opening stock plus net purchases plus direct expenses minus closing stock. Opening stock is 23,000 plus net purchases is 26,600 plus direct expenses is 100. If we total, we get 49,000. 700. Our closing stock is 47,700. This closing stock amount should be deducted from 49,700. That comes to 2000. So 2000 is our cost of goods sold. Now what is net sales value? Net sales value is 24,900. So gross profit or loss is equal to net sales minus cost of goods sold. Net sales value is 24,900 minus cost of goods sold value is 2,000. We get 
22,900. This is our gross profit. We mention this gross profit on the debit side. Here we got positive value. In case after deducting the cost of goods sold from net sales value, if we get negative value, then we call it as gross loss. And gross loss is mentioned on the credit side. Our next problem is from the following information determine gross profit for the year ended 31st March 2020. Opening stock 25,000, freight packing 10,000, sales 190,000, goods purchased during the year 140,000, closing stock 30,000, packing expenses on sales 6,000. Here we see date next to opening stock. Sometimes they just give stock and give the date as first day of the month. In this case, we should consider it as opening stock. If they give end day of the month next to the closing stock or stock, then we should consider it as closing stock. We know that we have to mention the opening stock on the debit side. Next, we have freight packing charges which is a direct expense. This comes on the debit side. Next is sales. This comes on the credit side. Next is goods purchased during the year. This is the net purchase value because they have not given the purchase returns here. So we can directly consider goods purchased as net purchases. Next we have closing stock which comes on the credit side. Lastly we have packing expenses on sales which is an indirect expense. This we will not consider it for trading account. This will go to profit and loss account. As usual, we will mention these accounts on the debit and credit sides and balance the amounts on both the sides. Higher amount is on the credit side that is 2,20,000. Total on the debit side is 1,75,000. We mention the higher amount that is 2,20,000 on both the sides and deduct the lesser amount from higher amount that is 2,20,000 minus 1,75,000 which comes to 45,000. This is our gross profit. Our next problem is Ascertain gross profit from the following information. Opening stock 2 lakh, closing stock 1,80,000, purchases 8,50,000, carriage on purchases 23,000, carriage on sales 30,000, office rent 58,000, sales 14,7,000. In this problem, we have three new accounts compared to previous problems that is carriage on purchases, carriage on sales and office rent. Carriage on purchases is a direct expense and we will mention this on the debit side of the trading account. Carriage on sales is an indirect expense. This we will not consider it for trading account and all indirect expenses will go to profit and loss account. Office rent is also an indirect expense. Again this will not consider it for trading account. This will go to profit and loss account. Now let's prepare the trading account. Here the gross profit is 5,14,000. Our next problem is from the following information prepare the trading account for the year ended 31st March 2020. Stock on 1st April 2019 is 40,000. Purchases 4 lakh, sales 3,80,000, carriage inwards 20,000, returns outwards 80,000, wages and salaries 50,000, returns inward 20,000, stock on 31st March 2020 1,30,000, net realizable value or market value of stock as on 31st March 2020 was 1,20,000. As we discussed earlier, here they have given 
just stock and date next to the stock that is 1st April 2019. So this is an opening stock. We have returns outwards which is nothing but purchase returns. Next is wages and salaries which are direct expenses. So we will mention it on the debit side of the trading account. We also have returns inwards which is nothing but sales returns. This we will mention it on the credit side. Lastly they have given the stock on 31st March 2020 which is the closing stock because the date is month end date. We also have a note here that is net realizable value or market value of stock as on 31st March 2020 was 1,20,000. Whenever they give market value and closing stock value, we need to consider the value whichever is less between these two values. The reason behind this is according to conservatism convention, stock is valued at cost or net realizable value which is nothing but market value whichever is less. So whenever you see both closing stock and net realizable value in the problem, simply take the value whichever is less and mention it on the credit side of the trading account. Here the closing stock value is 1,30,000 and market value is 1,20,000. So we should consider 1,20,000. Now we will prepare the trading account. Gross profit is 50,000. Our next problem is from the following information prepare trading account for the year ended 31st March 2020. Adjusted purchases is 6,60,000. Sales is 7,44,000. Closing stock is 50,400. Freight and carriage invoice is 3,600. Wages is 6,000. Freight and cartridge outwards is 2000. In this problem we have two new accounts that is adjusted purchases and freight and cartridge outwards. First we will see what is adjusted purchases. In some companies they do closing entries for purchases at the end of the month. When opening stock is adjusted with purchases the entry is purchase account debtor to opening stock account. When closing stock is adjusted with purchases, the entry is closing stock account data to purchase account. These are the adjustment entries for purchases. Whenever we see adjusted purchases in the problem, then we should not mention the closing stock in the trading account. We will mention the closing stock in the balance sheet. Formula for adjusted purchases is opening stock plus net purchases minus closing stock. Since we are adjusting opening stock and net purchases here, they will give just adjusted purchases value in the problem instead of giving opening stock, purchases and purchases returns. Next we have freight and cartage outwards account. This is an indirect expense. So this will go to profit and loss account. Here we should note one point. If freight or carriage paid for asset that is like furniture or machinery, this cost is added to cost of the asset, not debited to the trading account. We know about the rest of the accounts. Let's prepare the trading account. Gross profit is 74,400. Our next problem is following balances appear in the trial balance of a firm as on 31st March 2020. Opening stock raw materials is 80,000, finished goods 1,40,000, purchases 3,60,000, sales 7 lakh, 
returns purchases 10000 sales 6000 wages 130000 factory expenses 90000 freight inwards 20000 freight outwards 30000 at the end of the accounting period stock was raw material 70000 work in progress 20000 finished goods 110000 in this problem we don't have any new accounts but they have given the opening stock and closing stock in a different way raw materials and finished goods together should be considered for opening stock here instead of giving the closing stock value they have given at the end of the accounting period stock was so raw materials work in progress and finished goods we have to consider it for closing stock Let's prepare the trading account now. gross profit is 84000 hope you guys have understood the explanation if you guys think that this video is helpful or useful to you guys do not forget to click on the subscribe button and in the next video we will solve problems related to profit and loss account thanks a lot for watching this video